Okay, so this is just a quick run through for lot number one in our antiques there, which is the Lone Star coin on the slot machine. Um, just to quickly run you around uh, some more close up details of it. We'll start right up at the top here. Um, this is obviously a, a repainted section um, and I'll just run through some of the, the things here. Um, this slot part seems to be a bit more stiff than the others. Um, it does, goes, does go back up to the top there as well. But as you can see, they do all move. Um, obviously there's wear and tear around the edges. One of the main points in the cast iron up at the top here is this part is split. Um, but of the top section, that is really the only part that we can see that is split. There is one smaller piece around the back that we'll come to uh, when we look at the back that is chipped as well. Uh, but again, I'll show you that later on. Um, coming down the front here, you've got some tiny splits in the wood and some missing beading along the edge here. Um, and then on the dial, if you have a close up look at that as well, there's um, some flaking in the paint beginning to occur, some definite flaking down the side here and all the way around to the bottom. And again, up along the side panel here as well. But hopefully that should give you a, a good idea of um, what the dial is like. Um, let's have a look anywhere else down here. The handle does crank down but obviously nothing happens. Um, and then again down on this lower section here, just a tiny bit of um, the wood moulding missing from this corner section. Um, this all seems to be in good order, no cracks on this part. Although there might be some tiny rivets missing. Um, show you one down here, it's in this top corner. Um, and then obviously the, the one main thing of the front of the um, front of the machine is uh, this bit of moulding missing again. It's got the, the one on the left. That one seems to be missing. Nothing wrong at all uh, with the feet as, we, as far as we can see. It's just general wear and tear to the wood sections of the case. Uh, let's move around the side here and show you the side of the case. Obviously there's some splits starting to occur down the top here, along with some on the top panel. Um, and they seem to have been painted over at some point. Again, cracks running down the side to about here from the top. Um, the handles are a bit stiff, but they do, they do work. Um, nothing else by the looks of it down here that instantly springs out. So I'll move around to the back. And the first thing you'll notice is it doesn't have a back door. And there's lots of um, nail and screw holes around the edge of the case from where, where the original was. Um, but but it, this one doesn't come with um, a backdoor panel. And this is the small chip on the corner here that I mentioned earlier. If you look at the other side, it'll be quite obvious to see that it's flush there. But again, just a very slight chip off the edge there. But uh, that is the last part, um, as, we, as far as we can see, that is missing from that top section. Um, so I come around here. Um, there are lots of different moving parts in this, in the interior of this. All of these seem to be moving fine, well, <laughs> with a bit of force, but still jiggling and the top top sections you can see there are still coming up, two, three just about, four, that one is a bit stiff, might be caught on something inside, and then the last one, five, moving there. Um, 
And again, the main part inside here is that one of these bottom corners, this one here, has been split off and is broken off and it's missing. Um, so obviously there's a new screw there from where it was screwed back into the case. But that, may, that does mean, with the lacking corner, that the entire thing has shifted downwards. Um, I'll just try and move it back up again there. And it does need to fit into the top corner, just up here. Hopefully you can see that. It needs to move up, um, which is why the dial on the front has dropped a bit. Because um, the entire workings have as well. Um, and it doesn't look like there's anything else instantly that comes to comes to mind there. You see there's very very various moving parts in there but they they all seem to be relatively rusted as well. And then again just one more thing in here this butterfly clip at the top which seems to be holding the top in it's missing one of its wings. You can see the other one here. That's that's perfect. Um, and then nothing along along the bottom there. That's just a scratch. Um, and then we'll just quickly go around to the last last side. We can fit in. <laughs> so number one thing across the top here is that the case is split. Um, right along that small section, right next to the main split in the cast iron. Um, some of this moulding is starting, again, you can just slightly push it with your finger and it moves. Um, handle again, working condition for this one. Just a bit stiff at times, but it does work. Um, and then just an, a small overpainted section of the moulding molding missing, just down in the corner there. But that does seem to be the complete run around. Um, nothing else at all that's obvious that jumps out. So um, hopefully that should give you a bit more of an in-depth idea of uh, what you're potentially buying. Thank you very much.